morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Tina Kavrigich. Thank you for joining me. Today is Tuesday. I can't believe how quickly time flies. I don't know about you, but time seems to just keep going. I don't know about you. How was your week from last Tuesday? I got to tell you, I had a very interesting kind of week. Um, just letting you know. So comment below that you're here so I know that I'm not just knocking myself, but anyways my week what a what a what a day what a week so i had the toaster break i had the freezer break i had the washing machine break and then i found out that i have chronic kidney disease and there are certain levels and oops let's make sure you got my whole head um so i have chronic kidney disease and now there are different levels so when you're at level five, you are listed for uh, dialysis. Well, I've been found out. I am very close to that level. I am uh, level four, very close to um, uh, level five. Uh, so it's been such a week, and I'm not going to let that get me down. I've decided uh, there was a time that I did have a pity party. And you know what? That party lasted a little bit of uh, a couple of days, and I decided you know what let's make the most of what we have and I have to uh, thank my friend Carol she gave me the most amazing a uh, cookbook for renal failure and uh, you know what they've got some great ideas Carol thank you so much I'm going to try them out I've got the kids all uh, stoked about trying some new um, uh, chronic renal diet uh, uh, meals so it's fantastic looking forward to it you know what? It's a great day. I have a new toaster. I have a uh, new washer. I don't know if you can hear it. It is as loud as the monster like Godzilla. I gotta tell you. Fan, you know what? It's, it's working. I don't care. So I can do laundry. And you know what? As for myself and my health, you know what? Let's just make the most of what we got. So I'm gonna take you on my kidney and cart adventure and let's see where it takes us. Anyways, my name is Tina Kavergich. I'm a Canadian Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I am located just east of Toronto in Ajax. Now, today we are going to be making a fancy fold card. Now, you need two card bases to make this card. Uh, um, oh, let's check this out. Let's, you know what? Somebody mentioned that there is a, uh, audio problems so I will see what I can do I can't do anything at the moment but I will do my best anyways um, we will be making some um, some cards if you have a catalog or do not have a catalog comment below I would be happy happy to send one out to you right now we are doing holiday catalog with the mini and the celebration one more month in the month of August you can choose a free product so let me know if you need a catalog mailed to you. I'd be happy to send one out. Anyways, we are continuing continuing with our lovely and lasting stamp set and punch. We are going to be using that today. Um, so as I mentioned, you need two card bases. And the card bases we are using in your packages is with the soft sea foam. You'll notice that there are two in there. And you're going to want to use your soft sea foam. Uh, we have uh, the stamp and ink. And I am using sweet sorbet um, for the other color. So I'm going to take you through that. This is kind of a fancy fold. I kind of was um, tinkering around with it. And hopefully that you'll like it. I hope you enjoy it. And we do need to do some cutting. So I hope you have your trimmer ready. Now some people have asked me, what are some great items to purchase like what should i put in my starter kit you know what it's whatever that you want you can hardly hear me oh my goodness let's see um oh let's see how can i change this the only way i can change this is by logging off and logging on again so let's try this oh so let me just try this mm. you know what how about this log off and come back on and we'll try again okay so i'm gonna cut this and we're gonna try again okay so see you in one minute okay i'll see you here in one minute Whew. 
hopefully. Number three is the charm. Okay, so I have changed it completely. So hopefully we will continue on. Um, otherwise, I think this may just not work, be working for me. All right, so give me a thumbs up if you are here and comment below how the video sound is now. Can you hear me? I just want to um, uh, continue on so that we can get our card started. So is it better? If you could comment, I see two thumbs up. Okay, that's great. That's fantastic. I don't want to hold you up. I know it's a very exciting day. Um, so just let me know, okay? Um, I'll wait for at least a comment. And in the meantime, I'm going to place you up onto the camera mount and we will get going. Oh, that is Cindy says that's better. Okay, I'm fantastic. I have no idea what I did. I guess, you know what, technology is just not working sometimes, and sometimes it does. All right. So, did you hear some of the stuff from number one? I hope you did. Okay. As I mentioned, it is August. We are still in celebration. They got some new great items and uh, stuff like that. Okay, it's better. Everybody, oh, fantastic. See, God's are talk, oh, smiling down on us. So. It looks like the toaster, the freezer, the washing machine, my kidneys, and my laptop are all having a def difficult week. Anyway, so let's get going on that card. Okay, so if you um, get kind of queasy, I will get you up on the mount as quickly as possible. So let's get going. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Can we see everything? There we go, up on the camera mount. As I mentioned, my name is Tina Kavergich. I know you can't see it, it's a little farther away. Northernstamper at gmail.com if you have any questions. And I have this a little far, further away so that you could see everything. But I will do my best to make sure that I keep an eye on the video, that you can see everything and that you are working along with me. So let's get started. We have our two card bases. Now these uh, card bases are unfortunately no longer available from Celebration, but you can make any two card bases that you want, you can add in. Um, we're using the Soft Sea Fall, so I wanted to show you that. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be placing the two cards together so that the insides, that the white pieces, are going to be glued together. So I have one that's on top and one that's on below. So what I'm going to do is actually, so that you can see, they will fold together. But one of them we need to cut in half thereabouts. So we are going to cut one of them in half and I'm going to write down what that will be. So you are going to cut it at two and a half inches high. Okay, so the bottom fold is is down here and this is the one we're going to cut and you're going to cut it at two and a half high. So we're taking this bottom one and we're going to place it in, okay? So I got the um, soft sea foam on the out so I can see it. And let's see, I've got the fold right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take to two and a half, okay? So my fold is going to be on the two and a half mark. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect but you want it thereabouts at two and a half. Okay, so there's two and a half, there's the fold, and I'm just going to cut that off. Okay, so we got that cut off. So that is at two and a half high. All right, so there's only that much left. Okay, I'm gonna bring back in the card base. Okay, and we're gonna place that inside, okay? And I can fold that down and that one up. Perfect, that's the way I want it. So I'm going to glue these two together. 
Okay, let's get that glued down. Okay, there we go, right by the fold. Oh, make sure it is, make sure that it is straight. Okay, there's the little bump. And I'll try and get that as best as I can. There's the little bump. There we go. And I have that glued down. So I can fold that one down and one up. Okay, there we go. We got it. Now it's glued together. Now in your package, you have some designer series paper and we're going to be cutting this down. And I'm going to be writing down the measurements. Okay. There's a piece of ribbon. We're going to be using that. Now there is a piece of white which will go on the inside. It is a nice square so that fits inside. Now the reason I did that is if you wanted to add something to the back, go grab a piece of a designer series paper so that we can place in and then we can place on top. I didn't know if you wanted to do that or just to leave it blank, so it's up to you totally. Um, I am just grabbed a scrap piece of, of designer series paper, okay, and that is what will be on the inside. There is a long piece, okay, we will need this for our little squares that we're going to cut that down to. Now you'll notice there's a piece with a little notch taken out. Let's see, okay? See there's a little notch in your designer series paper? This is your scrap paper. So we're going to be doing some stamping on that, okay? So those are the pieces that you have in your packages, okay? So let's look, and now if I put this on top, this piece, it should fit right across with a little bit on each side hanging off, okay? So what we want to do is we want to cut a, our designer series paper. So you may have a, a, a strip. Um, I just used some scraps. You want to cut them to, okay, hold on. You want to cut them to one and a half wide. Okay, by one and three quarter tall. So you're going to cut the strips one and a half wide by three quarter, one and three quarter tall. So let's cut that and that's going to fit on here. Okay, so you're going to have a strip of paper. I just have leftovers and you're going to cut it. So uh, one and a half wide by one and three quarter tall. So that's, that's tall, one and three quarter and one and a half wide. So you're going to make three of those. You're going to want three, okay? So let's make three. And I'm going to put that off to the side. And that's three quarter tall and one and a half. I'm going to keep doing that. So these two should be the exact same size. Yes, they are. And what have I got the last scrap? And one and a half tall. So you want three of those with your designer series paper. Now the ones that we are using have the nice little flowers on it. Very, very pretty. So when I place it, they should fit right on. Okay. Now you can make a wide in between or you can have it smaller, it is up to you, okay? So, I can. I like to have a nice thin little piece in between, so I'm gonna put them a little closer if you want. You can uh, make it a little further apart, but then I need to cut this part off, okay? Or you can just take the whole piece and kind of go like that. It is totally up to you. Remember, this is your card and it is all on how you want to make it. So I'm going to glue these down. 
I'm going to glue them flat because the piece underneath, when I place this on the card, will have the dimensionals to bring it up. So I'm going to place these down all the way across, and then I'm going to use my trimmer, and then I'm going to trim off the excess from the end. Okay. Everybody has different choices on how they like their, their frames, and like I said, this is totally your card. Okay. So there we go. I've got it across, nice little area in between. I'm going to cut off this area, so there you go. You can see I'm going to cut that off. Okay, so I have that all set up. Okay, pull it back a little bit. There we go. There we go. So now I can see it's all nicely in the frame. All right. There we go in the frame. And what I want to do now, this is the part where I'm going to get my card base. Now, the bigger piece I want on the bottom, and then it folds on top, okay? So what it's going to do is I'm going to check. I want a little bit under um, this piece here. So it's a little bit high. I might need to cut a smidgen off because I just want it to tuck underneath. All right, so I'm going to cut a little bit, just a smidgen off, because if I don't, it won't tuck underneath, because I want this to tuck underneath like that. So let's take it down. I'm just going to take it a little bit. I gave you two and a half, because I wanted you to, where it depends on where you place your piece. Okay, so I took a very small piece off. You can see very tiny. Oops, see, very tiny. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check. Okay, now there's a very small piece. I can move this up, and then I can slip it under, or I can take off a little bit more. Let's see. So if I lay that down, I'm just like going to be measuring. I can still take off a little bit more. So I'm going to take off like one-eighth of an inch or one-quarter of an inch. Okay. Again, a tiny little piece. There we go. Another tiny little piece. Okay. And now I have enough room. I can move this up and down. I can move this up and down so it will slip under. Okay. So there's a small amount being held underneath. Now, let's get some dimensionals on that. And I'm just going to use these ends because why not? They work, and it will hold it. So I'm going to put the dimensionals on. I'm not going to put it right up to the edge because I need that edge for that other flat to slip under. So I got that. See, there's C space all the way around, so I can slip it underneath. Let's take that off. I'm going to fold my card up. And I'm going to look, and there's a little bit that can slip under. There we go. Voila! Is it straight? Yes, it is. See? As I go, I can slip it under. There we go. Ta-da! How about that? Pretty good. Not bad at all. Now, the next piece, what I need to do, is it straight? I think it's straight. Looks straight. Is I'm going to take my ribbon. Check out my ribbon. This is the Pale Papaya Ribbon. Love it. Fantastic. Goes really well with the color of the uh, Designer Series paper. Now I'm going to take that little slip and I'm going to wrap it around the back. There we go, around the back. So you can see. And I'm going to end it right about here. And I can use tape because that is where my sentiment and um, a, a stamp flower is going to go. So I got to tape it, right? Pull it around, bring it all the way around, and I'm just going to place, secure it into that spot. So, okay. So it looks very pretty on the back and on the front, okay? And yes, look, it still slips underneath. Fantastic. Now, 
with this all done I don't need this at the moment so we are going to do some stamping so let's place this off to the side okay I'm gonna place that off to the side remember any questions northern stamper at gmail.com I am always happy to hear from you I'm going to take my piece with the little edge cut off because this is my scrap paper and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my little sentiment with the tag here. Okay, so in the lovely and lasting, there's this really funky um, dotted, I guess, edge around. And I'm going to use that. Remember when you place it on, don't pull it. Okay, you don't want to pull it. Don't pull it. Don't pull it. It's not good. You're just going to lay it on. Okay just like that yay and I am going to take oh let's get some soft sea foam and I'm going to make that edge all the way around now we need this for um, our flower too so make sure that you have enough space now because this is a polymer stamp you want something underneath to give it some cushion so let's there we go I've got it on the bottom there see looks great and I'll punch that out oops oh my my there we go okay punch it out and because I didn't pull it too much or at all it fits in that sentiment now let's get a sentiment on there I'm using sweet sorbet Okay, and let's see what sentiment we have. Let's get the, oh, there's so many to choose from. Thinking of you. I like that one. And we'll place it on our block. Okay. Ink it up. And just stamp in the middle. Now, I'm not going to close the Sweet Sorbet ink yet because I want to stamp a flower on, on this piece of white. Okay, so let's get this flower, and I'm just going to stamp this one flower and then cut it out. Or you can do the whole flower, it is up to you, but I'm just going to do the one. Okay, going to ink it up. and stamp now I still have pieces left over and I need that for some leaves I'm going to do some leaves on here too so before I cut that out let's get some little leaves now the little leaves are also on this piece here so I need to clean my stamp now I love this stamp and scrub comment below if you have a stamp and scrub I just love this thing. Gets in between all the nooks and crannies. Okay, one side is wet and one side is dry. Now, let's get some of the ink from the leaves. I'm going to choose it from that spot again with the, where'd it go? Soft sea foam. Okay, I'm going to ink up on the edge. And I'll do a couple of these. Are you still with me? There we go. So I'll cut those out. And that is all that we need for the stamping. Okay, I'm going to quickly cut these out. Fussy cutting and remember always move the paper and not your scissors that's the easiest way to do it you'll have more control that way okay there we go you know what the more fussy cutting you do the faster you get I have a friend her name is Liz she she does not like fussy cutting at all but Liz I'm sorry about this card today I hope you'll forgive me I got there was one and I'm going to cut out some of these leaves there we go oops 
I don't know. Do you like to fussy cut? Some people really are really good at it. Some people just really can't stand it. Oh, good morning, Christina. I'm glad you can make it. Hopefully nobody is bothering you today with their phone calls to you and that you can watch or make the card. So, okay. We'll continue doing this. There we go. And one more leaf. And off we go. I think this is a kind of a cool card. I like this card. I thought it was really, really good. And I'm going to add these leaves behind and just glue it down with some tape. Okay. Place that down. Make sure that everybody can see that. And there we go. Another one on this side. All right, I'm going to leave this last one so I can move it around. Now, when we put our card together, you can have your flower off to the side. Hey, that looks just perfect, actually. I'm going to, I just might do that. Or you can have the flower off to this side. I really liked how that worked. Okay. And I'm going to place that on with dimensionals. I'm going to have a little bit that goes on. I want some more of these leaves to go off to the side. And... We are just about done, so let's get these on our embellish, our, um, oh, what are these things called? Dimensionals. Yes, they are called dimensionals. All right. Okay, I'm going to place that on. There's the sentiment. Okay. You'll notice the end of my ribbon is kind of hanging off. Um, but that's okay. You know, I think it adds some, some pretty good design to it. All right, let's add some dimensionals to the flower. Oh, hi, Joyce from Nova Scotia. Glad you could join us. I love Nova Scotia. I love Newfoundland. I love the maritime area. Fantastic. So beautiful. On our list to visit again. All right, and now I'm just going to place my flower on top. Make sure it does not, your adhesive does not go above that area that you've cut off. Okay. Ooh, pretty close. Maybe I'll move that down a little bit. Pretty close. There we go. And all we're going to do, oh, you know what I need to do is, there we go. It slips underneath that piece we had added with the front. The little flowers and the leaves are on top. There we go. Now, if you want, if you want to grab from your um, designer series paper, we can decorate the inside of the card if you like. So I'm just going to use a piece of scrap. I know I need to cut it at like four. Uh, no, that's five and one quarter. I'm just going to use a piece in there. Glue it down. This piece is, did not come in the package, but you can always grab something from your stash. And then add the white on top. And there we go. There we go. Look at that. And then we're going to close the card. And we're just going to tuck it underneath. Oop. There we go. That worked. What do you think? I'd love to see your design or if you've created with different designer series paper. I think this is really cute. This this front holds it down and it looks like it's very cool. Very cool way to use up some of uh, like different fancy folds. So as I said, as we move along, we're going to be a little bit fancier than the week before. So let me say a proper goodbye and I have a tip for you. All right, there's the card. And if you have any questions, northernstamper at gmail.com. So, thank you for joining me today on a Takeaway Tuesday. And you know what? I have to tell you. Um, so this week, so it was the, the toaster, the freezer, the washing machine, my kidneys. Um, oh, my laptop with the sound. But you know what? I went to Costco, and I got to tell you, I went there on the hottest day. I don't know why. But anyways... 
I had my Stampin' Up cup, I gotta tell you, worth every penny. So I left this in the car with some water in with some ice. And when I came out an hour and a half later, I could not believe it. It was still cold. It was still ice in here and it was 32 degrees outside and in the car, you know how hot it gets. I am very impressed. Very impressed with these tumblers. You know what? If you're going to treat yourself to a coffee or a tumbler or something, grab one of these guys. I got to tell you. So hot weather in Costco for an hour and a half and it kept my ice water icy cold. Anyways, love to see your card and thank you for joining me today. What a great card. Great design. So let me know what you think. Any questions, northernstamper at gmail.com. Otherwise, I will see you next Tuesday right here at 10 o'clock for Takeaway Tuesday when we'll do another fancy fold. Anyways, have a lovely week. Talk to you later. Bye.